What's good everybody? Finally, all the map spotlights are out, and I don't think we're getting any more, so it's time to take a closer look. We got Coastal, Citadel, Marshlands, Outpost, and Graveyard, and a little some some if you watch to the end. So let's start with Marshland. Alright, pay close attention because what I'm about to show you is every single gameplay frame and where it is in relation to the map blueprint. I cannot overstate how much of a head start this video is going to give you. Marshland. The Brawler's former home is a large asymmetrical map consisting of large open spaces in its southern region and two hulking strongholds to its north. Teams will begin in each respective corner in the southern swamp. Naturally, we'll make our way north towards strongholds while hoping to pick up the central B capture point between the two mega constructs. As you can see, we have an extraction zone in the dead center of what is known as Ruins. The plan is to approach the sheriff paving along the main bridge between the two fortresses as he oversees the state's progress on tax collection. Clever outlaws will use the environment at hand including fog, dilapidated homes, bridges, and sodden monuments to outwit their rivals and escape with the riches. There is evidence that one extraction zone is distance from its stronghold base vault, and in fact, near an eastern bay a few dozen meters east the central bridge. You ready for the next one? Can you guess what it is? Yeah, this is coastal. One of the state's most unusual keeps, your venture to the coastal island will have you begin in a southern town or encampment. While in the town, feisty outlaws will have the opportunity to seize the sea capture point before proceeding to attempt a robbery from the state. Crafty thieves will know of the best shortcuts into these heavily fortified constructs. The sheriff will likely be patrolling on the main bridge between the two strongholds. Get that chest and winch it onto the northern boat. But be careful, while doing so, range classes will have a clear view of your head. With little time to waste, you'll find yourself fast approaching one of the two strongholds. Once a fine congregation for citizens and outlaws alike, now Outpost has been seized by the state. Outpost is a relatively symmetrical map with an enclosed garrison and a large open field surrounding it. During your first visit, you will find yourself situated in a large country field, quite the distance from the booty. Make sure to kill the armored guards along the way and take out those crossbowmen from the watchtowers. It's a relatively small map, so once inside, be sure to take the capture points. Frolicking in these fields is the last thing you want to be doing. Rumors suggest one of the vault rooms is under guard in the second floor of the barracks. Distract the knight and take him out. Just like graveyard, extraction zones are on opposite ends of one another. To make things worse, it appears these winches are situated in congested areas. Extraction will take some coordination with your mates. An old ancient burial ground. The graveyard in Gwydion's Rest represents historic pagan ways, rich with dusty catacombs rumored to contain riches beyond belief. Graveyard is a small, symmetrical map. Its simple design and tight spaces will allow for frequent brawls and high-level plays. Don't worry, there are plenty of shortcuts, hiding spots, and strategies to utilize here. The church and other structures provide verticality best used by ranged classes, and the underground catacombs will undoubtedly befriend the toughest melee outlaws. The sheriff can be seen roaming the churchyard in an upwards U-shape, and the cemetery in a circular path. Extraction points are at opposite ends, therefore, when you have the chest, choose wisely, because 180 degree backtracking is the last thing you want to do here. You will quickly get comfortable with Hood during your visit to Graveyard. Don't forget to pick up your nades, arrows, capture points, and of course, the loot. Fuck. Uh, Citadel. Fountaindale. Lionsdale, no matter, the major stronghold, home to Daddy Sheriff and the base of the state's military operations. 
countless soldiers circle the plaza, roaming amongst the armament-filled garrison and petrified citizen combatants. Why are you here again? Oh, you want to be a legend. Alright. Citadel is a dark, cold, yet grand map. Definitely one of the more mysterious and ominous maps to date. Likely entering from encampment and town and working our way into the garrison and keep, we'll be capturing zones A and C. Daddy Sheriff has been surveying throughout the plaza. Once the key has been obtained, there is a high chance the vault will be located in the northern region of Lionsdale, perhaps in the church upstairs. This is a dangerous map. We've never seen extraction points so close to capture points A and C, perhaps graveyard, but the sheer size of Citadel will make poor objective management all the more punishing. Don't be surprised if underground networks and secret passages are littered throughout. Good luck, Outlaw. Thanks for staying tuned. Here is an official clip of the upcoming map Mountain, nestled within the peaks of Storgamont. Link in the description below. To unveil the first major free edition coming to Hood. A brand new map, Mountain, will arrive soon after launch as part of Season Zero, Letha. Set on the great mountain known as Storgrimund, the treacherous area has been taken over by the sheriff and a small army in an attempt to bring it under state control. Made up of two distinct areas connected by bridges, the mix of long sight lines and tight, coverless overpasses make Mountain a fresh, deadly challenge for any would-be outlaws looking to pull off the perfect heist. Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you like this content, support me by liking the video and subscribing. It means a lot. I'm looking forward to playing alongside or even against you guys at launch. Hope to see you there. Peace. Thank you.